This car is a Lucid Gravity that's going to be modified and run Neuro's AI self-driving uh, vehicle system. And then it's going to be available on the Uber app starting in the Bay Area. Hey, Wire Noticers, Shane here at CES 2026 in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. And right now I'm at the Fountain Blue Hotel at the NVIDIA Showcase to show you guys something that I think is super duper cool. Behind me, we have something that is a partnership between three different companies, Uber, Neuro, and Lucid, to bring you a brand new Uber RoboTaxi coming at the end of 2026. So the reason this RoboTaxi is here at the NVIDIA Showcase is because the NVIDIA Drive AGX Thor chip is what's powering the AI computation that Neuro is doing for this car to be able to drive itself. So a couple things to note about this RoboTaxi behind me. I love how big and luxurious it feels because, you know, I've tried RoboTaxis from a bunch of other companies like Waymo and Zooks, and those don't feel nearly as big and spacious as this car right here because the Lucid Gravity is quite a large SUV. I also like the mean black color on this car because it really kind of it feels like a premium uber black type service so the inside of this modified lucid gravity feels super duper spacious i have so much leg room here and it feels so luxurious i'm also noticing up here there's a massive glass panoramic sunroof which i love that is such a great feature to have in self-driving vehicles and what I was told by the Lucid employee working here is basically this car is a Lucid Gravity that's going to be modified and run Neuro's AI self-driving uh, vehicle system. And then it's going to be available on the Uber app starting in the Bay Area at the end of 2026. So I am super excited to see these on the road. This feels really luxurious here. On the back here, you also have a touchscreen that tells you, you know, you're here, you've arrived at your destination and whatnot. And now that we're back outside of the car, I do want to say I think this partnership behind us makes a lot of sense because a ride hailing company like Uber is really able to access a big install base for potential robo taxi and autonomous vehicle users because they're already, you know, the go to app when people want to get from one point to another with ride hailing. So I've already tried uh, Waymo's on the Uber app in Austin, for instance, and you can watch my full video about that. I'll have a link to that down in the description of this video. But basically, how that works is you order and Uber, and you may, if you're lucky, get paired with a Waymo. So it should be interesting to see if this Lucid option here works like that. You know, you order the, the Uber and you may get paired with the Lucid, or if it'll be its own specific category, and when you order it, you know what you're getting. Now, one of the cool things about when RoboTaxis are built into the Uber app is you don't have to wait as much, because if the RoboTaxi isn't available, like when I was in Austin, it can pair you with a regular Uber, whereas when companies have their own robo taxi apps like for instance zooks or waymo their dedicated apps sometimes there are quite hefty wait times so anyway it should be very interesting to start seeing this guy on the roads in the san francisco bay area at the end of this year i definitely want to check it out and actually ride in it when it's on the roads because like i said it feels very comfy here but anyway, folks, if you are interested in more of my coverage from CES 2026, definitely be sure to check out my playlist of all the CES 2026 videos I've made. I'll have a link to that down in the description of this video. And if you enjoyed this video, definitely don't forget to smash that subscribe button and subscribe for more awesome technology videos just like this one. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much for subscribing. Bye.